I was absolutely, I was totally moved. Um, by the main shot for me was the shot of everyone at the dinner table and the little girl in the corner. And you think she's the one who makes her grandfather relive. And she's the one who teaches us about her. You know, who would have thought that this little shy 12 year old or something is the one who, who makes him relive. This is beautiful. I was very moved. I love what an incredible voice he has, what an amazing artist. I, I feel like I've walked away now, you know, knowing about an artist who I wouldn't have known about. I've discovered something. It's beautiful music. It's very moving music. He's got a, a lovely voice, a very sensitive voice, and uh, I'm about to go home and do a lot of YouTubing. A very intimate portrait of a family, and um, I, I was just so moved by how open and honest her father was. Um, about uh, must have been very difficult to talk about those types of things, but um, it's such a great um, gift for him to give her. But um, by ha by creating this film, she's also giving a gift to her family, both uh, his, his uh, brothers and sisters and, and her father, but also um, her son and the next generation. So yeah, I was really moved by it. Well, it was a very emotional film. Um, I, I really enjoyed it actually. Um, there were some very interesting characters, uh, very funny stories, uh, and very emotional stories. Um, I, yeah, it touched me actually. It was, it was, um, yeah, interesting, emotional, and, and funny. Because it seemed like the family had broken up, and, and the father hadn't had very much. Uh, contact with his siblings and I'm hoping that the making of the film has uh, has brought them closer together. Uh, one of the best moments of watching the film actually was when I looked over and I saw, I think they were talking about the, the, the wife of um, Eddie and, and I looked over to the dad and he was sitting there crying and he was wiping his eyes and I thought that was very sweet. The universal aspect of it, uh, just watching that film made me, you know, think about my family and and uh, even though he was really famous, you know, you sort of think about your own family and you think about the disconnect with your own family. It was just beautiful. I mean, I was thoroughly engaged. I wanted to see more, definitely. I mean, I think for me it was, uh, the, the fame part was something separate. It's just the idea of this, uh, this family that's sort of like torn apart and then come back together with this film and I thought that was really beautiful. Well, what we saw was the rough cut and then what we saw now today was the final piece was a lot more personal and I could really identify and it was it was quite kind of good that some filmmakers can kind of show an insight into their family something very deep and personal but make it quite sensitive but accessible for an audience and also that people from the outside who doesn't know who the artist is will find out more and get to know more about him and I think that was very interesting. Well, it made me curious. I mean, this guy's the Tunisian Frank Sinatra, and I've never heard of him. So I think I'm going to go on YouTube when I get home and check out his um, his work. And also, I think I might even download one of his CDs, so I'll give him some money as well. So, there you go. Having question about the family and everything, and like saying, "Oh my God, I like it's amazing." You go in the family story, and then you go in this big Tunisia story, and then you go in the music story, and, and it's like open chapters all over the world and uh, all around, and um, and you have some answers, but you want to know more, and it's. And then I thought, okay, maybe uh, Papa Eddie is nobody for me, but imagine like um, if it was my grandfather. Or imagine if it was really the Frank Sinatra, and you can go inside and know his life, and it's just like. Uh, and I don't know, I, I cried, I laughed, um, I know more about people I know, and um, uh, I think it's, it's um, brilliant. The only thing I can say is that I, I was fully, fully, fully touched. And um, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful documentary. Obviously, as a Tunisian, I grew up with Hedy Juini's music, and I have actually uh, a lot of that on my iPod. Um, and I think his songs were um, truly um, um, eternal in a way. And this film shed so much light about why he was misunderstood um, to a large extent because, um, and he was really ahead of his time in many ways. He, 
his um, that last concert he did in Carthage truly showed the extent of how people really woke up to his music at that point and I think continued to uh, to appreciate it till this day and I think there might be another awakening in the wake of this film. I think the the um, love story with Nanette was a really very interesting angle um, to understand the beauty of his songs but also to understand also why he was so misunderstood because um, the cultural differences um, at that time were too difficult for people to appreciate him fully and for him to gain uh, the, the sort of the recognition that he is getting today when people start to get past that particular hurdle. As um, someone who has children in living in London, it's very emotional for me to um, to understand how that part of their culture and uh, being Tunisian is going to be always there, regardless of how, how one looks or how he's been brought up. So it's really about making that connection and understanding who you are. So an amazing film, an amazing, an authentic film, very emotional, uh, given that I love his music and you know I'm sure he'll be it'll be very successful.